Hello, my name is Chris. I'm an academic advisor here at Western Mississippi State Technical College. I'm your academic advisor here at Western Mississippi State Technical College. I understand that you're a transfer student. Excellent. Well, thank you for choosing Western Mississippi State Technical College out of all of the potential technical colleges you could have chosen to transfer to. And I understand we're just getting your schedule all squared away and sorted and filed away so that you can really enjoy your holiday break um, before you come back here uh, in January. Is that correct? Excellent. Let me just pull up your file. takes a second to load. Okay, just give it a few more seconds. Why'd you, tra why'd you transfer, if you don't mind me asking, if that's not too personal of a question? Mm. Yeah, that's a big one. Finances, right? I mean, it'd be lovely for if all of us could go to one of those fancy Vanderbilt, Georgetown, um, Fluffy Puff universities, but not everyone can afford that. And Western Mississippi State Technical College is certainly an affordable choice, so I applaud you for that. You have to make the right decisions for yourself and, and in terms of long-term finances, not just in terms of today and and, and the hottest university, you know? Okay, here we go. Can you spell your first name for me? Okay, and is that capitalized? You'd be surprised there's um, a new trend, I'd say, of just inventive spellings and one of the inventive spellings that I've seen in um, kids your age is permanently lowercase first letter of the name so that I have seen it so I'm not asking because I've never seen it okay um, and can you spell that last name okay So I see here that you used to go to Westminster University. Yeah, that is a lovely university. Gorgeous campus, but mm, what is it, 60K for, for a semester? Oh, that's a whole year. Well, pardon me, there's only four of those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Looks like you got pretty good grades at Westminster. Let's see what credits you've accomplished and, and how those transfer to the courses at Western Mississippi State Technical College. I know, it's bad. I know, I've tried to start the diet. I've tried to do the whole diet thing for, for ages, for decades I've been trying to get myself on the diet, but for me it just tastes like someone dropped a battery in a regular Coke and I'm just tasting that battery aftertaste, or I don't know, kind of kind of like a nickel some days. Some days it's not a battery taste. Some days it's more of like a nickel taste. Okay. So you took organic chemistry at Westminster, and you received a B. That's excellent. <laughs> organic chemistry, seriously? That's one of the hardest classes to get a B in organic chemistry. You go, okay. So your organic chemistry at Westminster translates into the equivalent of three science classes here at Western Mississippi State Technical College. So you are in the clear. You don't have to take any science here. Um, will you be keeping the same major that you had over at Westminster? Okay. We want to change up the major. So I see that you used to be a, oh wow, astrophysics. That's impressive. 
um, yeah, you probably would have to still take more science if that's what you were continuing. What are we thinking now? Okay, yes. We can talk about it. We can chat about it. But let's just see what else. All right, so you took that organic chemistry. You also took an intro to business course. And you made an A. That's excellent. Good for you. All right, so that intro to business course is going to count for, let's see, five credit hours. So usually um, one class equals three and a half credit hours. However, uh, when you're dealing with a university like West Westminster, where it could be argued that the course load um, is more difficult, more challenging, um, more rigorous in terms of academic standards, we do give you more um, than the equivalent of one class for the classes you took there. So you're going to potentially be a junior and you only took one semester at Westminster. Yeah, you could potentially be a junior here at Western Mississippi State Technical College. Let's see. Okay. All right, so, wow, biology. A biology class that you got. An A in biology? Whoa, you're smart, smart. Good for you, okay. So that translates into a total of seven credit hours here. So that is a total of two classes worth of credits. And then your final class that you took at your semester at Westminster. Okay. So this was like a physical education, general sports, general sports. Oh. You didn't pass general sports. That's okay. So that doesn't count for anything, but that's okay. Why didn't you pass? Oh, so they graded you based on how well you played basketball? I would have failed it too. I can't play any, it's not a participation. It's like, oh, how well, how good at you? Are you at these general sports? Interesting. Okay, so there, as you already probably know, um, our students have already registered for uh, their next semester classes. Um, you are, of course, our student too. I just mean the people who have already been here. So there's not as many available courses for you to start. Do you want to kind of just explore what are some possible courses you could be taking? Do you want to hear about the pathways that we have at Western uh, Mississippi State Technical College? I can kind of go over some potential majors for you if you're interested in, 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 in uh, declaring a major today. You do not have to be married to this major that you choose today. It doesn't matter. You can change it down the road. You've got plenty of course credits from that one semester at your previous college, so you're going to be fine. Um, you can change the major at any time. I do have to put something in that major box though. Okay. So yeah, we don't, we don't have a degree here that is called art history. Let me see what other degrees around that are called. We have a degree called history through the arts. So that's not exactly art history. That's history that focuses on paintings of historical events and deduces um, new understandings about the historical past uh, from these artworks of the past. So it is not exactly the history of art, it's more of world history viewed 
through the art and that is an entire major here that was founded by a man named Stephen Simpson. He created that major as an independent study back in 1972 and then the major was um, added to, the, to our uh, uh, options of majors. Not exactly what you're looking for. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have a fine arts degree, so that would be a degree in the execution of fine arts. Um, and that degree has evolved immensely when we first started the fine arts degree. Um, way back when, I believe it was the 1950s here at Western Mississippi State Technical College, um, you could only get that degree with an oil painting focus. Now we have a fine arts degree with an oil painting focus. We have a fine arts degree with a charcoal focus. We've got one uh, for mixed media and fiber arts. That's four. We used to only have one. Not what you're looking for either. Do you even want art history or something along that? Okay, yeah. You, you just wanted the art history. We don't really have that. All right, so. How about this major? This is a new one that we've only had since 2018. It's called Public World Relations. It's a combination of global studies and public, re and public relations. So it's, it is a degree in public relations and it's also a focus on the different ways that you have to handle various PR crises at different parts, in different parts of the world and how you deal with, uh, you know, global military conflict in a public relations kind of way. All right, let's see. Of course, we've got the basic majors. We've got a English major. We've got a pre-med major. Uh, we do have a pre, pre-med major, which is for if you haven't decided yet whether you want to do the medicine thing and you just want to sprinkle, sprinkling of what it would be like our pre-pre-med major is all classes that can get you a different major. So if you decide last minute that, oh, I did the pre-pre-med major, but I don't know, I don't think I do want to be a doctor, that major just turns into the word science. And now you are a science major. However, it is quite difficult to get into med school with the pre-pre-med major. Med schools don't take it seriously at all. No medicine for you? Yeah, I hate the guts and the gore. I have had too many surgeries, you know? Too many surgeries. A lot of moles removed, a lot of classic just mole removal I've had. One or two angry little moles in my day, because, you know, back in my generation, we were slathering on the oils, we were tanning, we were cooking ourselves like rotisserie chickens in the sun. You, your generation, you guys know better. That's good for you, because you're not going to look as withered and decrepit as I do when you get to the age of 59. Okay. All right, we've got... Some more classic majors, robotics, engineering, mathematics, economics, Spanish, dance history. Sorry, we don't have art history, we do have dance history. That one requires zero dancing. You literally just learn the history of dance, um, and it doesn't matter if you can dance or not. Film history, meditation, and practical studies. 
So a major in meditation and practical studies for you could result in a lot of people that get that degree, they end up working at a core power fitness or um, a chain yoga outlet. Okay. Got a major in accounting. Okay. So here are some of the special ones at Western Mississippi State Technical College. We've got the major in running a bank. This description says this major entirely prepares you to run a bank, whether that be a chain uh, location or an independent banking conglomerate. You will walk away knowing how to run a bank, whether or not you have the logistical ability to do so. Okay. Uh, we have a major in dystopia. Oh, the dystopia major. How to execute dystopian media, how to interpret dystopian media, a complete understanding of the projection of the current state of affairs and their eventual resulting in a dystopian society. Okay. Well, we do have a general studies major. Yeah, that's just a little of everything. I don't know. I don't know what people do with it. But, you know, if you start with a general studies major and you want to change it a few years down the road, um, it can transfer pretty easily to a bunch of different majors. Okay, let's do the general studies major. Okay, so... Let's get these classes scheduled and get you home, get you out of here. I know there's a blizzard that's brewing up in the sky. We'll see if it touches down. All right. Tell me about your sleep schedule, your sleep habits. Do you get eight hours most nights? Okay. Do you go to bed early? And is that the natural occurrence for you? Or have you just trained yourself to go to bed early? Okay, so if that's a natural occurrence for you, I won't mess with that. Um, everybody has a different rhythm. Um, you know, in terms of the earth, gravity, I, I don't know. I didn't go to um, a real university. I went to community college, so I don't know anything, I guess. But um, my body processes and works best from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. So... I wish I could do my job then. I do as much as of my job as I possibly can then, but I really am not at my peak performance during my working hours. Okay, but we are here. So you're fine with an 8 a.m.? All right, so here's the class that you have to take. Um, it's called, How Do I Do This? It is a general knowledge class that we offer at Western Mississippi State Technical College. It's graduation requirement. Um, it is a class that teaches you everything from how to file your taxes, when to file your taxes, how to do your laundry, when to start your shirt, when to take things to the dry cleaning, how to write a check, um, how to look out for scams in the job market on your job hunt. There's a lot of focus on job, job related things because one thing that we don't exactly teach students at every university, but we really make an effort to here, um, is how to behave in a workplace so as not to get fired. Um, a lot of dreamers, a lot of idealists come out of college, but the thing is that if you raise your hand in a board meeting and you say, hey boss, is this business practice we do unethical? You're only 23 years old and you've only been there for three months, you're gonna get fired, you know? And so those are some things that we go over just so that people don't feel um, so smacked in the face by the harsh reality of the outside world. So when do you want to take that? Yeah, we have them all over the day. They're only 30 minutes long. Yeah. Okay, let, let me see. All right, so I've got a Tuesday, Thursday, 9.30. Excellent. Let's see some of the other classes that are available. Okay, 
so we have an English class. You did not take an English class at Westminster, and you are required to take one no matter what your major is. So let's see. Would you like to take an English class this semester? All right, let's see the different ones. All right. All right, there's two spots left in analyzing young adult novels and their impact on culture. So I guess this class you read The Hunger Games, The Pretties, The Ugly series. You read a bunch of young adult books uh, through a variety of time periods when people were young adults and analyze how they reflect the culture of the time. Okay, not a big fan of young adult. That's fine. Let's see other English classes. Mary Shelley and Frankenstein's Monster and only Mary Shelley and Frankenstein's Monster. Oh, well yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. You just read Mary, Ste Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, and you read it a bunch of times and you just analyze it for an entire semester. Okay, yeah, me neither, quite frankly. This same truck has been parked across the street for like seven weeks now. I've called 311 just because Whose truck is that? You know, I'm concerned. Did someone die? But they've looked in the tr um, truck. There's no, there's nobody in there, but just like, I don't know, I kind of think pickup trucks are one of the eeriest vehicles you can have, especially an old one like that one. Okay, let's see, more English classes. Okay, so we've got William Shakespeare's Easiest Plays. It's exactly what it sounds like. The description says a collection, uh, analyzing the collection of William Shakespeare's easiest to analyze plays. Um, if you've ever tried to get into Shakespeare, but you really don't understand it, we are only going to be analyzing the three easiest plays to analyze that William Shakespeare has written. It doesn't tell you which plays those are. Wouldn't that be kind of a spoiler alert? <laughs> All right, so that one's not for you. All right, let's find an English one. Okay, uh, this is fun. Today's literature, analyzing books from the year 2000 to the year 2023. Cool, yeah. There's only one section of this available. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's right at 8 a.m. Brave girl. All right, there we go. We've got you signed up. So we've got one class down, three to go. But with your general studies major, we've got so many options. I know you've already taken a bunch of science, uh, but this is lifestyle science. Um, the science of baking, cooking, taking out the trash and other lifestyle things. Yeah, you probably would be bored. Okay, let's see what else. All right, this one counts towards um, general studies, business, communication, and arts. And the class is called Leveling Up. Okay, um, utilizing strategy, social media content, and trends to stay relevant in your industry. Yeah, me neither. I'm going to make a note on here that I don't like this. see. 
All right, this one is called Storms. It is also Earth, it's, uh, it's also science, it's Earth science. Um, it's also history, and it is a difficult class. Uh, it's a catchy title, it's only, uh, it's Science 101 and it's History 101 and it's, the name is Storms. Um, it's a combination of those two. What it is is all of these major storms, not only do you have to know like what a hurricane like what's happening scientifically when a hurricane happens you have to you also have to know the details the statistics of how hurricanes through history have affected so like you would have to know the death total from hurricane hugo and the financial cost of that hurricane and a lot of other information that kind of feels unnecessary to know right so i'm not recommending these but like i said we don't have that many classes left because the Western Mississippi State Technical College students that have um, already been going here have already signed up. All right, but we, we have enough. We can we don't have to take that. All right, let's see. Okay, so you didn't pass your kind of general sports class at Westminster. Good news is here. You are never graded in one of our physical education and lifetime fitness classes in terms of um, how good you are at sports, but we won't put you in another. We have treadmill. You know, it's just, you just run on a treadmill or walk or do whatever you can. Um, and it counts as your physical education requirement. It's a 30 minute class. You just have to be on the treadmill for 30 minutes during every one of those courses. Yeah, uh, we've got pool. Pool is you just have to be swimming for 30 minutes. Okay, we've also got skating. That is skateboarding, ice skating, and rollerblading. You wanna take skating? Hey, um, you can hurt yourself because it's it's real skating. Okay. Skating. All right, that's at four p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right. If you come in, you know, if you take skating, take a class or two and you decide you don't like it, come back in, we can sort that out. But for now, you are signed up for skating. Okay. <clears throat> two more classes, let's figure this out. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. It's a business class. It's a 123 level business class. Everything you know need to know about Microsoft Excel, how to format a spreadsheet so that it's readable and works in your favor. When to create a spreadsheet. How to ask others to create spreadsheets. Yeah. Okay. Romeo and Juliet. How parody eclipses the source material. It's not only Romeo and Juliet, but I think this professor has collected a number of parody, satire type pieces that he thinks are better than the source material, one of which being the movie Nomeo and Juliet. Sure, that's at 2.30 Tuesdays, Thursdays. So you'll go kind of straight from that to, um, to, to, to skating. Yeah, all right, just one more and we will be good to go. Music through the ages. 
this is a so we have a bunch of different music through the ages courses but they don't all cover all of the ages the ages that this one covers is um, music from the year 1600 to the year 1800 we also have a music through the ages that covers the year 1950 through the year 1960 and we have one that covers 1970 to 1980 i don't know why we had you know 200 years worth of music and in, in the first music through the ages probably because you know we don't have as strong of a record of the music as we do of like the music from the 60s Okay, yeah, not, no music for the ages, through the ages, through the ages. Oh my gosh. My eyes just kind of go blank when I'm looking at this screen for so long. Do you mind if I choose some gum? I know it's really disgusting to some people, but my eyes are falling asleep. Let's see. Okay, this is a rock science and mysticism class. It's called it's called rocks versus crystals. Analyzing the scientifically proven and the scientifically theorized and speculated elements of rocks, crystals, and other minerals. Fabulous. That one's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right at 2 p.m. Okay. And now this is when I ask you, do you want to substitute any of these classes out for Midnight Spanish with Miss Diaz, Professor Diaz, pardon me. And that better not be the police coming for one of my students. Oh, it wasn't the police. It was the ambulance. I hope everyone's okay. I hope Professor um, Crawley is okay. He's 87 years old. He slipped in the bathtub a few weeks ago. An ambulance came for him. He was totally nude. It was a sad, sad spectacle of an event. But then he jumps up, you know, kind of Willy Wonka style, and starts giving us the razzmatazz, um, and like showing off how, how agile he is. Apparently he just called the ambulance to do this big show of like, whoa, but look, pretends like he is on the stretcher and then he just jumped off the stretcher. Yeah, it's weird. That guy's weird. Right, Midnight Spanish with Miss Diaz. Professor Diaz, what are we thinking? Yeah, it is hard to work into the schedule. And let, let me just tell you, it is the type of course that takes over your entire social life. Suddenly the only people you see are the people from Midnight Spanish with Miss Diaz. Suddenly the only thing you can think of is how incredible Miss Diaz is. I'm sorry I keep calling her Miss Diaz and not Professor Diaz. She just officially became a professor um, only a month ago. Uh, she's a dear friend of mine. And gosh, I've just been calling her Miss Diaz for so long, it's going to be hard to get used to. But Professor Diaz is her name, and she deserves to be recognized for all that work she, that she put in to solidify that status. Okay. Let's talk about dorms. You are still a first year freshman. We say first year now, um, just because freshman has the word man in it and uh, we're trying to get away from that. Um, well, heck, does it have the word? Is there a fresh man and then fresh men? I don't remember. We've been using first year uh, since 2011, so it's been quite a while. So we've got Storms in four different quadrants we've got. Let me get out a whiteboard and write all this down for you. So, I always keep a whiteboard handy. Kind of a whiteboard freak. So, 
in terms of dorms, we've got um, the north quadrant, which is this one, the south quadrant, or no, the east quadrant, which is this one, the south quadrant, which is this one, and the west quadrant, which is this one. And the north quadrant is very studious. Um, a lot of pre-meds here, a lot of majors, like engineering, super serious, super, super studious majors. Uh, they can be too serious is something that I've kind of come to believe. I used to be all about promoting the North Quadrant, but I have found that the North Quadrant um, residents are the most likely to come to me. Uh, for social help. Alright, so this is Studios. Then we've got the South Quadrant over here, which I'm just gonna draw a pair of lips on there because the South Quadrant is, uh, it's the hookup quadrant. It's the kissy quadrant. That's the nickname of it is kissy quadrant because everybody's always kissing on south quadrant. Mm, it's a lifestyle. If you live in the south quadrant, be prepared for your roommate to have, you know, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, whoever, over every night, you know. Be prepared for the, that kind of interruption because everyone thinks so, so wonderful to, to live on the kissy, kissy quadrant not necessarily the case all the time. Okay. And then we've got the East Quadrant. And I would say the East Quadrant is pretty laid back. And the East Quadrant is kind of like your Hufflepuff. Not that I approve of Lil Mesh J.K. Rowling and all of the hideous things that she's uh, said about my trans brothers and sisters and non-binary folk, but it is kind of the Hufflepuff of the um, quadrants because people of all types of people live there. It is, I would say, laid back. It's non-judgmental. Um, but it is the most likely place uh, to experience a fire drill uh, because uh, somebody's been using the kitchen. It's a foodie quadrant. I don't know why. All right, and then Westcott quadrant, I used to say they were slackers. I used to say they had a bad attitude. I've come around, though, um, because I recently tried um, the wacky tobacco. You know, I, I hadn't tried it. It wasn't something that I was willing to try previously uh, in all my years. You know, I used to be a square. Still am a square. have been a square my entire life, but I'm dating someone uh, my age. Well, he's 62, so I guess he's kind of the older guy. And um, he introduced me to wacky tobacco, if you will. And let's just say I understand the mindset of the West Quadrant a lot more now. That is the mindset of the West Quadrant is um, we study, but we also experience an herbal life. Is herbal life a company? Regardless, you know what I mean. Okay, East Quadrant it is. Let's see. Okay, we've got some dorms available. We've got a room available in the Lipa dorm. A room available in the Cracker dorm. A room available in the Bridgerton dorm. Okay, yeah. All right, we've got one room available in the Bridgerton dorm on the second floor with a roommate. Let me see the roommate. Okay, so 
the roommate for that dorm is someone who has had three different roommates request a dorm without them um, during their time at West Western Mississippi State Technical College. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that either. The other room in Bridgerton is on the fourth floor. There's also a roommate. This is another transfer student. Would you believe that? They're transferring from Westminster. Yeah, I think it's a match made in heaven. Oh, I'm excited about this. I'm going to make a note about how excited I am. Okay, look, there's a lot more that we're going to have to go through eventually. Uh, there, this is a heck of a university, heck of a college. I am here 24 7. Well, I am here during working hours and I'm available via text from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, for anything that you need to get you through this college experience. I don't want you to have to feel like you need to transfer at the end of the semester. If you're having trouble finding your social group, come to me. I know every kid on this campus. There is a social group here for you. It's just some of them hide in, you know, little nooks and crannies, and it's uh, difficult to find them. Um, yeah, enjoy your holiday break. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That's so important or your enrollment will not go through. But overall, I just want to say, and this is so important, you've got this.